Good afternoon, everybody. This is a rebroadcast of the SBOA webinar of January 30th, 2013. And as I mentioned last time, I did a webinar. I was proud of myself for keeping it down to 30 minutes, uh, only to find out that some people dropped out. So this time, I intend to make it even shorter. So today, we're really going to talk about two things. We're going to talk about the work that you do, your operational activities, and how you get those things done, and also the information that you manage in order to kind of keep the organization together on the same page. So let's start and we'll talk a little bit about what Unipage is. Now, Unipage is essentially a website, and as you can see, we don't brand it. This is, this is a, a storage pros uh, installation of Unipage. We'll be using them as a use case today. And the idea here is that you have some very standard navigation tools that everybody's familiar with. You've got the um, menu across the top here. You just click on these links. And then this menu down the side changes depending on which one of these items you're clicked into. So you have a lot of easy navigation. A couple clicks get you almost anywhere in the system. And it's basically as easy to use as a website, so it, it shouldn't be a, a steep learning curve for anybody. Now, you already have some software that you use to manage your business. And that software, depending on which product you have, is going to do a variety of different functions for you. Most notably, these things are going to handle the actual rental of your units and possibly insurance. But your business is comprised of a lot more activities than that. And so when you start looking at the things that it doesn't manage, you, you tend to have a whole lot of things that kind of fall through the cracks. It's not that you're not managing them. You don't have a system that manages them and controls all these different activities that aren't part of the software that you already have. And Unipage is designed specifically to fill all those gaps. So it's a very flexible tool that you can use for some of the things we have listed here, but also a lot of other things. And, and, and we can easily create new functions very quickly, as can you. Now, let's talk first about, about work. Now, the, the tool that most people use to manage activities within the organization is the familiar inbox. The inbox is a great tool for communications, but it is a lousy tool for activity management. So what we did is we took the idea of an inbox and we created something we call a workbox. And the workbox looks similar to an inbox, but instead it has all your activities in it. And you can see from the screenshot here that it not only shows you the activities that are assigned to you, but it also shows you can look at activities that you assign to other people. So you can keep tabs on the work that you've asked others to do. And the neat thing about this is that it's not just a simple task manager. Behind this, we have a powerful workflow tool. It's very easy to use and very easy to set up, um, but it allows you to handle the entire process of different things. So here is an example of a, of a simple maintenance request. And yours may be different, and it's very easy to change this flow. But in this example, uh, an, a site employee uh, asks a coordinator of some sort for assistance they assign the work to somebody. So it's basically three people involved. And you can see that the form on the, on the left here is very simple to fill out, a couple drop downs, and the, the assignment automatically, when it's submitted, goes to maintenance request administrators of some sort, which is a group. And I won't bore you with a lot of the details here in this thing. If, you, if this sounds like something you're interested in, We'd, I'd be happy to take a, a deeper dive and show you how some of these things work in more depth. So after you've managed the workflow and you've got people doing the work and you're keeping track of it so the work's not falling through that 
email black hole and disappearing. You then have all this other information that you have to manage. Uh, we've got a couple examples of some things here, but you could have reports or uh, maybe you keep track of some sales lead management or something like that. We have modules for almost anything you can think of that we can just plug right into the system. And you can use them now or you can use them later. There's no additional charge if you use some of these features later. But the idea here is, is that right now you've got all this data and it's probably being stored in a whole variety of different ways. The most common of which is you send people things in email and then they put them on their local hard drive. Uh, these, these things have very limited security and they're not, they, they fall peril to very bad organization very quickly because they're hard to centrally manage. With Unipage, all the information is centrally managed and organized. We have an advanced security module that allows you to ensure that any data is only accessible by the people that you want to have access to it. And that's done automatically once you set it up. You just set it and forget it. And it's very easy to find the data. And not only do you have easy navigation to that data with the system, but you also have over here a search capability that will allow you to search into any of the documents or information that you have stored in the system. So you have no problem finding what you need. Now the last item uh, of, of the sort of overall uh, discussion today is the notion of trying to get everybody on the same page. You have an organization that's spread out geographically and it's very easy for people to sort of become uh, cowboys out in the field and then you have differences in the way you operate and you have um, a loss of community that you might have if everyone was in a single office together. And so part of what Unipage can do for you is it can provide that sense of community. So here on, on the um, uh, Storage Pro site, they have some announcements of uh, things that people have done and, you know, uh, victories and kudos. And uh, They also have a company calendar where they list anniversaries and birthdays. So everybody kind of feels that there's, they're part of a group. The other thing that they have is um, an anonymous suggestion box. So they have essentially an open door to anyone in the organization who has an idea. Maybe they're not comfortable saying who they are. They don't want to uh, cause any uh, political fallout for themselves. They can come in here and make any suggestion they want or say anything they want. And only a select few managers can actually see these things, um, but anybody can, can record one. And also they have open online discussions. And the great thing about these discussions is that, first off, if you're dealing with a situation and you need some help with it, you've, you can post it here and the entire organization can see it and respond to it. And so you're really leveraging all the intelligence of everybody throughout the organization. But a secondary benefit is, is that all of this discussion is, is recorded and stored. And so you eliminate what we refer to as tribal knowledge, which is information that's stored up in people's heads and passed down verbally, and you make it into institutional knowledge, which is information that is recorded and stored and available for anybody, whether that person that originally uh, put it out there is in the organization or not. And again, this is all searchable. Now we have a wide number of uh, modules. We have IT modules and sales modules. We have a, a little CRM system that we built. So we have lots of little pieces that we can bolt into this system for you that are more or less ready to go. Um, 
and, and here's an example of one. This is the human resource management module, and you can see we've broken it into three areas. There's the whole hiring process. There is um, the, this employee, things that are referred to as employee self-service, which is where employees, if they need to make a change to their benefits or, uh, or make a or time off request or something, they can come here and they can get whatever they need right there. Uh, benefit forms and that sort of thing. And then the actual employee management. And you can see what some of the things are there. Um, the other uh, employee related item that we have, and this is actually a, an add-on module that's optional, and that's our training management system. And with it, you can not only create classes that have multiple units and they can consist of, of videos or PowerPoint presentations or whatever kind of material you have, but you can also create tests and actually check whether the students that are taking these classes are actually learning anything. And, and you can assign these classes out to groups of people or individuals and then their scores will come back to the instructor, whoever assigned the training uh, for review. This is a very powerful system. Now in terms of how the system installs, um, you can deploy it on your own server. It runs in Microsoft SharePoint, the free edition, and you can get up to 10 gigs of storage. Uh, so if you have capacity on your own Microsoft server, you can install it there. If not, you can install it on ours. And the cost uh, is very simple. It's $2,500 per 50 users. And if you would like us to host it, it's $150 a month per 50 users, but it only goes up by $50 per 50 user increment after uh, the first 150. So really quickly, um, we have some things that we talked about today and about task management and the, and the need to take control of the activities and make sure that everybody's being held accountable for the work that needs to get done. And then also talked about managing information and how you need to keep control of that as well and keep it organized and make sure it's accessible. And then finally kind of building that sense of community and bringing everybody together. So that, that's really it for the formal presentation. We did have a few questions. One question was, uh, uh, is there, are there any other costs? And there is an implementation cost. Uh, the implementation can vary. Generally, it runs between 12 and 20 hours. It really does largely depend on, on how much you know already about SharePoint and how much training you need and also how much customizing you want us to do to get the environment set up for you the way you want it. But it really is, does go in very quickly, and it's very simple to, to use. Um, our rates for, um, for implementation are normally $125 an hour, but for SBOA members, it's $100 an hour. And through the month of February, uh, we are offering, uh, if you sign in February, we're offering you a, a lower rate of $75 per hour if you attended or watched uh, this presentation. Uh, for the first person to sign up, we are offering eight hours of free. So at our normal SBO rate, OA rate, that is $800 value. Um, the other question that we, uh, I was asked was, uh, what about customizations? Uh, we are always happy to do customizations. Uh, we can build complete extensions. We can integrate the system in with other software. We're happy to do those sorts of things. But a lot of things that you might consider customizations are actually configuration. And so that goes very quickly and doesn't cost a whole lot to add things or to make tweaks to the system. Uh, so before you get too concerned about something not being there, consider the fact that it may actually just be a configuration issue and not a customization issue. You uh, have my phone number and my email address down there. If you'd like to get a more complete demo, I would be happy to help you. And thank you so much for attending.